Welcome to the Wolfpack Academy. The Electro Ober Machinist, or Electric Officer, is the crewman who operates and manages the E motors and most other components in the E motor room. Often the same player may operate as the Ober Machinist as well. When the boat has a chief, the Electric Officer will assist him in a coordinated manner. When playing as the electrical officer, you will need to master the procedures for diving, surfacing, starting, and stopping the E-motors, changing battery configurations, charging the batteries, reversing, and resetting the circuit breakers safely. You should already be qualified in propulsion systems before taking this course. See the link below. E-motor control and parameters. When the control room or conning tower requests a speed change, each EOT will have a light come on and the bell will ring. It is your duty to be attentive to these orders and respond quickly and correctly. If the EOT shows dive, a horn will sound as well. You should first respond by replying to the order. To do this, turn your EOT handle to the corresponding segment on the EOT. This way, the control room knows you are aware of the order. The default e-motor speed for a routine dive is all ahead half unless otherwise ordered. The crash dive alarm in the control room and conning tower is used in addition to the dive horn for the greatest urgency. Crash dive by default means set the e-motors to full speed unless otherwise ordered. Above the motors are the motor control panels, used to turn on and off the e-motors. Direct current from the batteries into the motors and switch propulsion directions forward or reverse. At your feet is the propeller shaft coupler, which will couple or uncouple the propeller shaft from the e-motor shaft. This can be used when wishing to charge batteries, but not allow the engine to drive the boat. On the aft side of each motor control panel are the battery amp hour gauges. By studying the speed settings card, you can see that different speeds will require different battery motor configurations. Power up and speed change procedures. To power up the e motors, several steps must be completed beforehand. To begin, you should ensure both the motor and battery switches are in the off position and the speed control voltage rheostat is dialed back to high. Caution! Powering up an e-motor with these switches in any other position can easily result in damaging the equipment, fatally harming the operator, and tripping the circuit fuse. The U-boat can be on the surface or submerged. It does not matter with the e-motors. The diesel clutch should be decoupled except when charging batteries. Switch on the power for each panel. Select the direction, forward or reverse. Move to the speed controls. The three wheels are the motor switch, which is blue, the battery switch, which is blue, and the voltage speed control between them, which is black. The battery motor configuration should be used in three speed ranges. Dead slow to slow, where the configuration is motor switch to series, and the battery switch to parallel. Half speed with motor switch to parallel, and the battery switch remains in parallel. Great speed to full speed, the motor switch remains in parallel, and move the battery switch to series. the motor current gauge carefully to ensure you do not increase the load too quickly and overload the motor. Watch the e-motor shaft RPM gauge to achieve the ordered speed. For example, if the order is all ahead, half, then for each motor you would ensure the direction switch is set to forward. Check the speed chart. Half speed calls for 160 RPMs with the motor battery switches set at parallel parallel. Wait until you hear the contactor's characteristic clacking sounds before changing the rheostat. Then slowly increase the RPMs until you reach 160 RPMs, the ordered speed of half.
to reverse propulsion direction when already moving under electric motor power, dial back the speed wheel, change the direction wheel to off, and wait until the shaft speed reaches zero. When it does, switch the direction wheel to reverse and increase the speed wheel. To go from reverse to forward, simply repeat the steps selecting forward. Switching from electric motors to diesel engines. When surfaced, dial down the rheostat to zero, switch the motor and battery switches to off, the direction to off, and the e-motor panel to off. Then proceed with the diesel engine start procedure. Charging batteries. To charge the batteries, the U-boat must be on the surface with the diesels running. Throttle down to low RPM and engage the diesel clutches. Turn on the e-motor panel. Ensure the direction switch is set to off. Select Parallel Parallel. Adjust the speed control with the goal of matching the battery voltage and motor voltage. When they are equal, the net power will be zero. Now set the direction wheel to forward. Match the speed order by adjusting the diesel throttle to match the surface RPMs. For example, if the speed order is slow speed, this is the slow speed for the diesels. You can increase the rheostat on the e-motor to gain slightly more speed, where you will be on the positive side and using slightly more power. Then move to the diesel control station and increase the throttle slowly. Check the e-motor current gauge above the diesel station. When it reaches negative 750 amps, you are recharging the batteries at max efficiency. Monitor the charge state on the amp meters on the aft end of the motor control panel. When the charge is complete or otherwise ordered to do so, stop charging by safely shutting down the e-motor control panel. Adjust the diesel throttle to idle. Then set the diesels to the ordered speed. The starting resistor. When the e-motors are switched to different configurations, it utilizes the starting resistor. The more frequent the changes, the greater the load is placed on the starting resistor. The indicator light above the wheel is normally pale white. As the demands pile up, the light slowly changes to red, indicating the resistor is getting hot. When this happens, the machinist should advise the control room with the goal of slowing the number of speed changes over a given time to allow the resistor to cool down. If the resistor is overheated, it will disable the e-motor controls for a period of time. Resetting Circuit Breakers In the event that a badly trained operator overloads the system, the circuit breaker will trip. To restore power, the breaker must be reset. The breaker for the starboard side is in an electrical cabinet in the galley, and the port side is across from the radio room. Due to the amount of current going through these breakers, it is imperative that the e-motor control panel switches are in the off position and the voltage rheostat dialed to low. Operating the circuit breaker with the switches in the on position will cause a flash event, which is much like an electrical explosion. Great bodily harm, death, fire, and equipment damage could result. Once the circuit breaker has been reset, be sure to close the cabinet door. This concludes the Electro Ober Machinist training film. Use the link below to take the qualification exam and earn your Electro Ober Machinist qualification certificate. Thank you for playing Wolfpack. Good hunting, and don't forget to close the hatch.